Hi there, Aries. Welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading from now through the end of October 2020. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you very much for subscribing. And uh, feel free to leave a positive comment down below. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me, there is a link to my website down in the description box. And feel free to follow me on Instagram at Tarot by Annette. So we're going to pull an overall energy message. This is a general love reading for the sign of Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp. Please keep an open mind. This is a general reading. Not every message will be for every single person who watches. Okay, so in your overall energy, you've got the queen. Love and prosperity. This is empress energy here. Love and prosperity are here. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. Let's pull some cards. General love reading for the sign of Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp through the end of October 2020, please, spirit. off the bottom is the five of wands looks like there's a fight at the party there's a fight at the okay corral here everyone's trying to one-up each other this is competition drama um conflict games petty arguments jealousy it's fire aries leo sag and then you've got six of cups this is mutual feelings of love and affection there could be children involved um, looking back at the past with feelings of love and nostalgia, it's water, energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, we've got the evil twins here. Two of Pentacles, Earth, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Red Rum, Red Rum. <laughs> There's balance and equality. And then we've got the emperor. Daddy wants structure and order. Daddy is laying down the law here. <laughs> you kids, stop that arguing. Emperor, Aries in his power. You're right where you're supposed to be in your reading. Could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn here. And then on the bottom, we've got the empress. We've got... Mumsy and Popsy here, mum, mum and Daddy. She's the queen of love. She's all four queens wrapped into one. She's Venus energy. She's the divine feminine, and you have the divine masculine here. Balancing out your yin and yang. Um, two of you are coming together, reconciling, um, making nice-nice after some sort of an argument. There may be children involved here. Someone may actually have a twin sibling. Okay, even though this isn't Gemini, it's balance coming in, structure, order. Someone's taking care of themselves. There's new beginnings of love and abundance here. Love and prosperity, nurturing yourself, being creative. You don't have to chase. You're attracting what it is you want. There's a lot of jealousy and competition, but there's only one. Some of you could be dealing with a twin flame connection here. You have uh, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn here. There's been a lot of bickering here. And someone's just been sitting back and just letting, letting, someone's just sitting back. Got their popcorn watching the shit show go down. The Empress doesn't have to chase. It's a grown-ass woman who's learned all of her life lessons. Um, there could be uh, some sort of marriage here, husband and wife. But it's divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Putting some structure around this relationship. Partnering up instead of fighting, cooperating, balancing. All right, let's clarify these pip cards and then we'll 
take the rest of your reading over to Vimeo Aries, and we're going to clarify the major arcana. There's some sort of past life spiritual connection here. Clarify the Five of Wands. Justice. Someone was treated unfairly. Somebody put someone in a place of competition. They have to make a decision. There's, there's, somebody wants order in the court here. There might be some legal stuff going on. There might be some sort of a divorce or breakup. There's like fighting and squabbling. There might be some type of custody battle here. Um, you guys need to, you know, somebody needs to grow up and not put the kids in the middle. Um, but a decision is going to be made that's going to go in your favor, Aries. Um, let's clarify. What is the Six of Cups here for? We're going to clarify justice with the Five of Wands and your extended. Yeah, it's got the Emperor again. So this could be someone or something from your past here, a father-child relationship. There could be a father trying to fight for custody of a child or children. There may be uh, one to three children involved here, possibly a set of twins. Um, somebody's ex-husband might be trying to reconcile here. Someone's uh, looking at their past relationship with their father. Someone might have been very childish, manipulative, and controlling. We'll clarify why we've got the emperor here twice. Somebody might have to... So might, might, there might be a woman with two men here. There could be a third party here, too. It's all sorts of stuff. Clarify this two of pentacles. Two of pentacles again. You can't make this shit up. That's four pentacles. There's a lot of mirroring energy here. Both of you want to be in a uh, committed partnership here with the right person. Someone put someone in a place of competition. Someone here was treated unfairly. Things are out of balance. There's been a lot of up and down energy. Someone, someone again might have had someone... Somebody might have been married and involved with another married man. Um, someone's third party might have had them in a third party. But balance. you got four pentacles. There's structure and stability coming in to your life. Whether this has to do... Some of you might be very career focused. For those of you who are just totally single, you're just looking for something uh, steady, stable, um, committed, traditional, with a with a you know something that just brings that security, and you're kind of just passively looking. You're pa you're just attracting this. Okay, why is this Two of Pentacles here twice? This is just really crazy. Ten of Wands. Both of you have been going through a lot of up and down crap. You and the person you're thinking of. Um, and you need to release and, and let go of a burdensome cycle here. Ten of Wands is fire. Aries Leo Sag. Let it burn. Let that shit burn. You can't. There needs to be cooperation and teamwork. You guys had the lesson that both of you had to learn. You and your love interest was putting the work in and balancing out. One person can't do all of the work in a relationship. It takes two. It takes partnership. This is one person trying to balance and juggle it all, and it got to be too much. And this person needed to cooperate. Can't be all on one, but you're releasing that. You're totally releasing that energy. Both of you are dropping that. And there looks like there's going to be someone from your past reconciling. And some of you may be in a twin flame connection here. Wow. On the bottom of the clarifying deck is the three of pentacles. There's your cooperation. Both of you bringing your A game. Learning your life lessons. Now they want to work with you and cooperate and build this on the right foundation and put some 
structure around this wacky up and down relationship. It needs to be grounded now. They've been on the fence, indecisive, conflicted, you know, they didn't know what they wanted. Now they know what they want. All right, Aries, we're going to take the rest of the story over to Vimeo. I'm going to post the link down below for your convenience. And um, we're going to do a deeper dive here. We're going to clarify these major arcana, bring in some advice from spirit and your love messages. I will see you over on the other side.